starts and armed with new arrival, Yanis Timak. The Latvian sharpshooter determined to take down his former team. Tonight. Hello and a very warm welcome to the Russian capital where you join us at the arena to improve their perfect start to the campaign. I have to say, ahead of this encounter. Put the elbow. Ball is loose. And it's Yanis Timmer who got down low. Now Michael Eric is slow to get to his feet, so it's a momentary advantage. Oh, what a delightful transition play. Devin Booker. So here's the fast break. Yanis Timmer with Michael Eric left on the floor. Look at that for the underhanded bounce pass. Devin Booker demonstrating his hops. With the board. He gives it to Bertans. Bertans with the lead pass to Timmer, who fires for three and produces sweet string music. His first triple of the game against his former team puts his team up by eight. And it is a 9-0 run that Kim Ki Moscow region have put together to take this eight-point advantage. Time out on the floor. Kim Ki Moscow region leading 11-3 in the first quarter. Yanis Timmer and Booker lurking on the help. Oh, easy picking for Yanis Timmer, his second takeaway of the game. He goes up strong and crowns two Basconia defenders. A transition jam. Easy pickings for Yanis Timmer, who was alert and in the passing lane and off to the races. Shengalia jumped with him. Garino got caught beneath him. Terrific fast break. Coming off the bench so far in this encounter. Evans at the high post, beautiful feed inside. Patricio Garino trying to poke it away. It was perfect, the pass was precise. So now, Basconia in the penalty. 1% foul shooter for his career. So those foul shots stem the six points with first season in EuroLeague play. Put two points on the board last week, and he's equaled that with that acrobatic drive there. Signed for Basconia this campaign. Dinamo Sassari in Italy. Pieri. Henry, Pierre Henry. Points in the game now. Yanis Timmer, perfect on his two trips to the stripe so far, restores the double-digit margin of advantage. That's the end of him left, back towards the middle. Booker, defended by Diop, lob pass down to Yanis Timmer. He's got a size advantage over Jani. Goes to the turn to the baseline, turns back to the middle and gets the baseline J to fall. Yanis Timmer remains, he brings his team back to within one. Nice catch inside. Again, it's a size advantage for Timmer, but he was double teamed by Shengalia. Jeremy Evans! Janik crossing up Yurevko. Can't get the pull up J to fall. One and done because. Steals three blocks and 17 points. He's got it on the perimeter now. He's picked up by Shengalia. Look at the wrestling going on between Timmer. Rejected by Evans. He got a piece of it, but the bucket counts. Fantastic finish by Yanis Timmer off the feed from Jeremy Evans, who is doing it all for Kim Ki Moscow region all over the court. He's blocking shots, he's bagging steals, he's catching alley oops. Whatever Jeremy Evans is being asked to do, he is doing it magnificently tonight. Less than two minutes to play, this game still in the balance. Kirobet Basconia haven't led in this contest since they were up 3 2 in the first quarter. Euro stepped down the lane by Yanis Timmer. The assist of the night. Devin Booker moves to 12 points in the game on 6 of 8, shooting from 2 points territory. And Yanis Timmer almost came up with another steal. So active in the passing lanes. Shot at the hoop. Shengalia. Defended by Evans. Gets a hand up. In and out. Big rebound secured by Yanis Timmer. Are they going to foul immediately? No, they've got a steal! And it's Henry once again who's off to the races and gets the finish to go. But that is it. Well, 
Kimki Moscow region. The eight points advantage has proved to be crucial here tonight because they withstand a furious fight back from Kirobet Baskonia, Vittoria Gaste.